Hi guys, sorry I'm away this weekend. Um, I'll be back next week, I promise. Um, this week is an awesome topic, so it's great that I can do like a five minute video to just kind of quickly touch base, but next week during the meeting live, I'll make sure that we uh, talk about it again. Um, the topic this week was want when you want to skip a week because you already know the results. So I know some of you do weigh yourself at home and the reason you come to your weight loss is because you know that you need additional support. So knowing that you get on that scale at home is not enough. You need to be able to kind of be accountable to someone else. We've all tried it. We've all tried to just kind of do it on our own and and some of us can and, and most of us can't. So the topic this week being trying to avoid coming to see the scale when you already know the results is a big one because it's a big issue when it comes to um, being on a diet or being, you know, trying to lose the weight. I feel like a lot of us tend to think that um, when you join something or when you try to lose the weight it means that you need to always lose weight like every week you need to be amazing and every week you need to do the right things and unfortunately that is not the way the journey goes like there are some tough weeks and so if you want to start avoiding um the accountability when things go wrong that's where i think it kind of makes it even worse like it just makes everything the damage is worse all right so Basically, we all have great weeks and bad weeks. Uh, going through both types of weeks is part of the journey. You cannot avoid having bad weeks. Uh, I don't think you would ever talk to someone that's lost a lot of weight and maintained it off and they would say, oh, I've always done so amazing. Nope, every week I was just losing that weight and once I got to maintenance, so easy. Like, it doesn't happen. You will have bad weeks. And I think that seeing both on the scale makes all the difference. I think it's not fair to you uh, to think that, it's not fair to yourself to think that you should only have good weeks. And I think it's one of the stereotypes of losing weight. I think people think that because they join something or they're part of a program that that automatically means that they should be um, basically doing the right things all the time and just do, you know, being this different person already. It takes a lot of time for that to happen. And so I think it's not fair to yourself to believe that you should always be doing so great when it comes to getting on that scale. Um, not being honest. Uh if you say that it'll that it won't change anything we make all the excuses in the world and when it comes to trying to avoid that scale my gosh we could have a million reasons why not to come and get weighed but i think that the biggest one is pretending to yourself that it won't change anything if you come and get weighed because you already know the results is a total lie you know that it does change something when you actually see it so what does it really change so what why is it so different when you do see it, when you do see it on the scale? Um, makes it official. It does. It makes it official. It makes it, it's, in the, it's written down. It kind of starts a new week. It makes you feel, it, it kind of shows you the consequences of your actions. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think that really what got me to losing the weight and maintaining it is that that scale shows me what I've done like it talks to me and so before it would really hurt my feelings and it, I was just taking it so personally and now it's more of just feedback of of my behavior and how my body's reacting to what I've been doing whether good or bad um also, why it does make a difference when you see it, I think sometimes it's not even as bad as you thought. And we tend to make a big deal from friggin' eating a cookie, like it's the end of the world. Like I ate a cookie, it means, oh, I sh you know, shouldn't be on getting on the scale because I should be perfect when I'm trying to lose weight. And I think sometimes we're just, some of us are too hard on ourselves and some of us aren't hard enough. So that, it really does make a difference when you see it on the scale. Coming to the meetings, coming, coming to your weight loss, um, I think it gives you motivation. At the end of the day, if you were struggling on coming in to get weight is because things aren't going well and, and you're struggling. And that's when you need help. That's when you need to come in. That's when you need that motivation. So don't try to avoid the place that's going to help you to get back on track. Um, I think when you see others, you see others' uh, successes, and even when the same struggle, when they have the same struggles as you, it make it just makes you feel better about your situation. All right. Um, 
sometimes, actually I hear this a lot, a lot of the members will come see me after the meeting and be like, wow, it's, it's like you knew that what I wanted to talk about this week, like I needed to hear it. And you guys know that these meetings come from the heart from me and I've been through this. And so every meeting is going to touch you in some way. It Sometimes it's not even the exact topic that you were struggling with, but it's something that you have struggled with. So it's going to come get you and you're going to think like, oh, it's so true that I, that I feel that way or that I've already thought about those, you know, those feelings that I've had. Even this, for sure, this, this topic, this meeting, you've thought of it ignoring or kind of not coming to your weight loss because you knew you're like oh I already know the results why would I go I'm sure you've thought of that um now let's talk about that scale at home that scale at home can be your worst enemy when it comes to just being emotional if you are an emotional roller coaster type person because of that scale you need to put it away all right I remember when I was losing the weight I tried having a scale at home and I would weigh myself seven million times a day and it was just the worst thing ever it just changed uh my uh mon humour de la journée I was just so not the same person because of what the weight would say and at the end of the week though the result was good it's just it's nothing friggin' worse than having a great day and then the next day you've gained a pound, but it's not, it's not, you know, your body needs seven days, so give it time, okay? It doesn't need 12 hours of good stuff before it'll give you some results. Um, I just want you to learn from experience when it comes to having a skill at home. Do not overdo it. And if you know that it's one of your issues and it's one of your reasons why you're, you're ignoring accountability, then put it away. All right. You need to make that, that decision. I can't make that one for you for sure. So just, you know, if it's bothering you, you know, if it's affecting your weight loss efforts. So you make that decision. All right. All right. I love you girls. See you next week.